for a season like this where it's kind of pushing the chips on the table where you know Aaron Judge and Garrett Cole's windows are getting a little bit lower you have a ton of impending free agents the biggest being Juan Soto who I think every Yankee fan would love to sign to 10 more years before he even you know takes an official pitch you know on opening day tomorrow but there are a lot of players that are on this roster that probably will not be on this team this year. I think you need to confidently say, I don't care. Just go and win the world series and you figure it out later. Mm. You know, at the end of the day, the Rangers are doing fine and they added some pieces, Um, you know, year after year, these teams figure it out. This team just needs to shove everything and get ready. But in terms of those expectations, I mean, what do you think is, you know, 82 and 80, the baseline, is it, the rocks, the, the, the dumpster bottom, uh, to put it into perspective, they have the Boston Red Sox who have no pitching and half the offense at 89 and 73. They have the blue Jays at 96 and 66, the Tampa Bay Rays, who I still don't understand their system because they always have people injured. They never have a full starting rotation and they have random pieces and somehow still projected at a hundred wins. And then of course the Baltimore Orioles at 104 and 58, who, you know, added a Corbin Burns to the top end of their rotation. But what do you see at these expectations and, you know, what are you, what are you feeling? Well, I have a lot of thoughts. First of all, let's start with the Yankees expectations. I'm going to sound like a spoiled Yankee fan, but I, I legitimately think this is the case. Um, am you know, I root for other teams that lose and stuff. So my expectations for every season is never really that high. But the Yankees need to make the World Series this year. Minimum, the base has to be a competitive American League Championship Series. That's the minimum. Because we've seen them have competitive um, American League Championship Series, and it's not enough. So they got to get over the hump. They got to beat the Houston Astros this year. They have enough to do it. The Houston Astros, listen, we don't know. Obviously, it's the beginning of the season. Our previews could be are thrown out the window tomorrow, right? Especially with baseball, because baseball is very unpredictable. I don't think anybody had Texas winning the World Series last year before the season started, especially knowing that, oh, yeah, DeGrom's not going to be a participant. So it it comes down to, like, they need to get there. This is it. They have Juan Soto locked in for a year. Um, you know, worst case scenario, he leaves. If I'm the Yankees, that can't happen. Um, but you can't think too far ahead. You have to take advantage of this year. Glaber has a reason to play well this year. Stanton has a reason to play well this, well this year. Rizzo does, right? I think this roster, from a lineup standpoint, is good enough to withstand Aaron Judge injuries. It should. Having a superstar in Juan Soto there, also more balance in the lineup. You should also get, if Rizzo's healthy, should get the season that we thought he was going to start getting when he was hitting 300 with, you know, the shift changes and all that. So I see the Yankees expectation is you got to get to the world series. Okay. I think we're both aligned on that. Here's my questions. I'm so sick and tired of the people of, of baseball reporters and these baseball nerds. Let's face it. They're nerds. Okay. Saying the Yankees, the lowest projection is 60 wins. Like when was the last time the Yankees had 60 wins? <laughs> and, I, did, and did they have the future Hall of Famers of Juan Soto, Aaron Judge, Garrett Cole on the roster? You're basically saying like, oh, yeah, we expect the entire Yankees roster to get injured. And guess what? A lot of that happened. Last, pretty much the only thing that went right last year was Garrett Cole's Cy Young performance. It's the only thing that went right. Aaron Judge missed half the season. Stanton was terrible. Rizzo fell off a cliff after his injury. We didn't have outfielders in the outfield. Like, Donaldson was a complete dud. Like, Volpe, like, was solid. I'm not going to get on him. But, like, you know, it, asking him to clean up the mess that was last year was ridiculous. Pretty much. And Glaber Torres, another, another good point. Glaber was really good last year. So, but that was pretty much it. So, and the Yankees won 82 games. So considering that the the roster is way better, you're basically saying that yeah, we expect all these guys to get hurt. That's why we expect them to not make the playoffs. If your re, if your analysis is, well, I don't think the Yankees will win the division. Um, you know, I expect the Orioles to win the division. I think that's a, I think you can health, that's fair. That, I think that's, that's fair. fair. But considering that there are people out there that are listen, 
they're expecting or previewing the Yankees to miss the playoffs. That means on paper, they think there are six teams in the American League that are better than them. With more playoff spots now than ever, I cannot fathom why that's the case. Yeah. And, 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 and dude, I'm, I'm sorry to say this. I'm sick and tired of hearing about the goddamn Blue Jays who have done nothing year after year. The Rays have done nothing since their World Series appearance. Okay. And Baltimore, credit to them. They were a really young team. They were awesome to watch last year. They got smoked by the Texas Rangers. Okay. So I'm not, I think the whole division has a bunch of really good regular season standout teams and they'll be competitive. Like the Red Sox are probably the worst division, worst team in the division by far. They're not like a truly terrible team. So it's a good competitive division. But I'm sorry, man. I'm just not like looking at them like, juggernauts no i'm right there with you and my thing is like i said in the beginning it's world series or bust i think though this has to be the year where if the yankees do not make a world series now again i know the world series it's a long season and i'm trying to be realistic on this show um if they do not make the world series there needs to be some massive changes it needs to be a a clearing of leadership i need it to, it needs to be a clearing of personnel and there needs to be some serious questions in how is this ship being run and navigated right now uh because you know this team has too many talented players and pieces to miss another playoffs and not make a world series um, well, missing the playoffs would be a complete disaster. Complete, complete I mean, disaster. you know, missing if, if you know, and again, I do not want to make these, put this bad juju out there. If this team is, you know, having some issues come August, sell. Yeah. Sell and like, mm -hmm. I, I don't know if a Juan Soto is a type of sell, but again, I'm not thinking about that. We're not having that conversation. We're not putting it out. <laughs> I We're think you do everything there. you can to keep Soto. Yeah. You know, I that's think you uh, overpay, you do whatever you need to do. I mean, obviously. And, an know. alternate reality that we don't need to discuss at the moment, but. Scott Boris is looking to make his due back next off season because this off season was not good for him. Uh, I do, I do give Cashman his flowers this off season because he did address, he did address some holes and he didn't overspend. And, mm -hmm. you know, maybe they are making that case to quote unquote, save money for one. Soda.